Let me do a little intro here. So this is Carlos. He's our lead developer on the Leader MLS uh, project. And Carlos and I have talked a little bit about the possibility today, kind of showing a little bit of how to set this up and how this product works. So it's designed for real estate investors. And we also have people that um, don't, they live in areas where they don't have access to MLS for whatever reason. Maybe they live in another country or they live in a small town in the United States or they don't wanna be on the MLS for, for whatever reason. They're looking for a way to tie in property listings and interactions between um, people on high level. And so uh, Carlos and our development team have been working on, on, a, on a great uh, product. It's called Leader MLS. Why don't you share with us a little bit about what you, what you guys have been doing there, Carlos? Yes, okay, thank you for the introduction. Let me show you how this works. Okay, so we have a website on high level and we, we want to integrate Leader MLS on a high level website. How can we do it? The first step is to have uh, a, already a domain, for example, this is my website right now is is empty and I need to use my domain and enter that domain right here on the on the dashboard of leader MLS and it will give you a, a script that you need to paste it on the head of your site. Let me show you how you can do it. You can copy this uh, script going to edit the website and going to tracking code and paste it right here. Okay, so that code comes with all the elements that you can uh, use on your website. And for example, if I want a search widget, I can go to widgets and select the property search bar. And this is the widget that I can copy and paste it as a custom HTML tag. Click on save, save changes, and let's see. And that's it. I have a search widget right on my high level website. And that works also with carousel widgets and a sign in button. Let me create a sign in button, going to widgets and then sign in button, copy this code and paste it here. And if I refresh the, the website, I will see a sign in button. So how this is going to work? Well, we want wholesalers publish uh, listings on this website and for that they need to create an account. So let's create an account here. But first, let's remember that this is connected with high level. So I'm going to go to integrations and I'm going to connect my high level sub account. This is necessary in order to create contacts on high level. The next step is to create the custom fields that are going to store all the user actions like property views, um, contact requests, and this is necessary in order to send emails from high level. So you can customize them. Let's click on create. And once it is completed, it's going to show you. Okay, we have successfully connected high level and leader MLS. So let's upload a new property. I'm going to create here a, an account, Realty Candy account. And I need to click here in order to upload properties. Okay, I have a seller account 
now and I can upload properties. So this is a form to upload a new property and let's upload a new property example. Okay. If you start typing here the address, it will give you uh, suggestions and you can select one from the from the drop down and it will auto complete the state and the zip also the zip code and also the map will be centered on the right position using uh, the address that you enter here for the price you can uh, start typing and it will be right for mark for property types we have these property types uh, total bedrooms full and half baths uh, the square footage and the lot size you can specify a year build and the condition of the property you can also upload a contract it it is a pdf and a description okay now we can upload a an image of the property i will drag and drop a new image and i can uh, upload that image for the features i can specify the parking view heading calling and extra features let's click on save and my property has been submitted and is waiting for a review and that means need to review this property in order to be public okay so oops so what is the next step if i go to my dashboard i can see a tab name listings and as you can see we have two properties and one is pending that means that you need to review this property uh, and see if seems okay to publish. You can see also the contract and approve the property or not. Let's approve it. Okay, now the status of the listing is approved. And if I go to my website and click on search, I can see both of the properties and how many seconds ago this was published. If I go to my dashboard and I activate the details page as created because I need to create a website named details in order to have a good, what is it? In order to have a good path, I need to click here that I have completed this page click on save and now I can see the details of this property if you uh, fill mm. this request more information form it's going to be directly to high level so these are the main features of this software that we have uh, been working on um, remember that this is all on high level and this is fully integrated with high level and we'll be adding more and more features um, in order to improve this this software if you have any question um, we are able we are available hey carlos i wanted to see if you could show us I think if you go back to that search field and you type in a city name, it, it shows like the city count, doesn't it? The, the, how many properties are in that city? Yes. Do you, do you mind? I mean, I, we, we only have one, but oh, maybe it just does. If there's not one, maybe it's not showing it, but oh, there it is. Yep. It'll show a count there. So that's pretty yes. cool. And, and do you mind showing that widget page that you were showing the setup on the widgets? Like if I wanted to sh put a, uh, a widget on my site, what are my options there? Yeah, right now we have three widgets 
and we have the carousel widgets that is customizable customizable you can sort by news listings uh, you can specify what the search parameters will be okay and then i can just copy that that code and put it on any page on my website or does that have to go on a certain page yes you can you can paste it on any website you want and it will uh, show the properties right now we don't have enough properties but let me show you an example where you you can see how uh, the widget looks okay no it's not it's not showing because uh we just changed the way you query the properties okay okay but this part <laughs> No, it's well, we'll chop that out of there. Okay. But that's that's what you're saying is people can just go in here and make this widget and can they get put multiple widgets on uh on a website? Like yep, on exactly. pages? they can have a widget for newest listings, they can have a widget for cities on El Dorado, for example. Or by property types, condos on this city, or for price or for veterans. Very nice. So it looked like when you did the setup, it only took a couple minutes to set this up on your website. Is Did you add some secret sauce in there? Or is that just how it is for everybody? It's, it's so easy. You just need to copy this code right here on the head and you can start using all the widgets, all the uh, pages so you just need to use uh, copy it once and start using uh, all the widgets it's awesome and this works not only for high level but for other platforms okay so this would work on like a wix website or wordpress website or whatever right yes exactly okay cool you, you can still use high level in order to manage the the contacts. Okay, cool. Well, I sure appreciate you taking some time to show that to us. Um, we'll be, I guess, I don't, I don't have any other questions about, it. I don't know if anybody else has a question. Okay. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much, Carlos. We really appreciate you taking the time to show that to us. We'll see you next week, I guess. Thank you. Okay. See you. Okay. Bye-bye.